Hello everyone and welcome to Raina Mo's DIY and Designs. First off, I wanted to say a big thank you to the 100 plus people who have subscribed to my channel and, and have encouraged me and let me know that you enjoy these types of, of arts and crafts. Uh, and as far as the wedding series goes, might actually possibly use some of these creations. I wanted to really express to you how thankful and how grateful I am that you like my creativity. Um, I've always been an arts and crafts kind of person, but it wasn't until um, I remodeled my house on my own um, when we were preparing to sell it um, that I just got my fire back where designing and creating is concerned. So I just really, from the bottom of my heart, I really want to express my gratefulness and all that you've done with your liking, your sharing, your subscribing, and for the few that have commented, even your comments. So having said that, let's go ahead and move into our DIY. Today, my thoughts are on weddings, and I wanted to create a table number holder that would be very appropriate, but also not something that's going to be severely extravagant, but very tasteful and nice. So what I've decided was, um, you know, I frequent the Dollar Tree, but this is actually from Ikea. They have this frame called a Tollsby frame. It's only 99 cents. It comes in two parts, and there's a front and a back that's the same. So what I'm going to do is transform this into a beautiful table number holder. So basically, you just go ahead and open up your, your frame. And you can spray paint this to give it a background color if you like. Um, I happen to like this uh, ivory cream color that it has, so I'm not going to spray paint it. You take out all of the wrapping, and you'll notice that you have uh, two windows here. Now, they're protected from scratches. They have this film over the top of them, and later on, I'll take those off. I'm just going to set those aside for now and begin putting it together. It's easy. You just screw it on. And what I've decided for this particular creation is the focus would be again my uh, mom and dad's 20th year, it's not 20th, 50th year golden anniversary. So what I've done is I have taken my ribbon, glitter ribbon that you guys saw me use when I uh, was covering the napkin rings for my three-tier holder for that view number one. And I've cut it down to two different sizes because I want the smaller of the size because I'm also going to bling it out with some jeweled stickers. Now, these stickers are different. Instead of being rounded, these are actually square. And I really liked that thought because it'll go very well with the squareness of this particular frame. But I wanted to have some gold in it as well. So what I'm going to do is in the center of the frame, glue down a strip of the ribbon. So I'm just going to put a little bit of hot glue. in the center and then with my fingernail I'm just going to kind of pat it down okay then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut it and I'm not taking it all the way to the edge I don't know if you can notice that but where I just uh, cut it. I don't take it all the way to the edge and I'm going to do that for all four sides that I have adhered my gold glitter ribbon 
Now I can go ahead and adhere the rhinestones. So what I'm going to have to do is take an X-Acto knife and this is a little less flexible compared to the diamond wrap that I did. Um, which, bringing up diamond wrap, you could use diamond wrap instead of glitter ribbon. Um, if you wanted to, you could use real rhinestones if you have good snips. Um, the sky's the limit to whatever your taste, your budget, uh, whatever your desires are. You could even use something like this metal ribbon that I got at Hobby Lobby uh, with some good tin snips. If you just snip right along the end, the top part are hearts, and I thought that was so cute with the little flower here. But if you snipped right underneath the flower, you could even adhere metal to the frame to embellish it and make it look gorgeous. You could spray paint it if you wanted to or you could add little gold details, maybe every other heart. If you had the time and the patience to do that individually with some real gold leafing, that would look really nice too. But what I'm going to do is just take my X-Acto knife and separate into individual strips these um, rhinestones and they have a sticker back so I will just peel it off the back and stick it on to the frame just be very very careful when you're using a blade always put it back in its its shield I'm having a hard time. Oops. Excuse me one moment. So you'll go ahead and peel the sticker off the back. And then I'm going to apply the rhinestones to the frame. And I'll do that to top and bottom. And I'll show you what that looks like when we come back. You can see the beautiful glitter ribbon with the blinged out uh, sticker. Isn't it pretty? So now all you have to do is actually add your table sign. And what I've done is I've downloaded a font. They have so many free fonts out there. I downloaded the font that I want. I believe this is called Meridian Daily. And then I've written out table one. The only thing I think I would change is I would either bring this closer together or I put a piece of artwork in the center, like maybe a picture of my mom and dad when they were younger. Um, and so I've already taken the film off of both sides of this one and one side of this one. So I'm going to show you how to take the, uh, the film off. You just go from the corner. I'm so glad that they have this because it really is a protectant, but uh, it's kind of like that childproof thing for your prescriptions. Yeah, I was trying to get it off on the wrong side. So here it is. You just peel the film off. And then you go ahead and let me wipe this off you go ahead and put your sign into your frame and there you go finished look absolutely beautiful I'm very happy with how it turned out so with that I'd like to say if you enjoyed this tutorial, please like, comment, subscribe, share.
If there's anything that you could possibly think of that you would want to see me recreate or create, just leave it down in the comments below. I would really like to read more comments. And again, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for all of your subscriptions to this channel. And just have a wonderful evening. Bye.